Hunting is an ancient tradition and an integral part of our cultural heritage. The ancestors of today's human populations ensured our survival by hunting for food and clothing. Today, hunting is an important activity for millions of people across the globe. For many, it's still an important method of food gathering. For others, hunting is a recreational activity that provides an opportunity to Good further job. friendships and camaraderie while experiencing nature and relaxing in the outdoors, as well as making important contributions to conservation. Responsible hunters support the many rules that have been established to ensure that our wildlife populations are sustained and that hunting remains a safe activity. Congratulations, Mike. Look at this brute. <laughs> this country was built on fishing, hunting, and trapping. Pursuing wild game in the vast lakes, rivers, and forests has been a part of Canada's heritage for over two centuries. Back then, it was about survival. Today, anglers and hunters act as stewards with the focus on conservation, wildlife management, and habitat preservation. Whether you're urban or rural, fish or hunt, you should support sound wildlife management and proudly say that I am an angler and hunter. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters celebrating 85 years of conservation proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television. Mercury Marine and Lund Boats. Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Excalibur Crossbow, compact recurve technology. The new matrix changes everything. And Yukon Gear. Keep on pulling, buddy. Oh, he got off and he was huge. Big one! Recently, we invited other outboard owners to look deeper into Mercury Verado. The mid range throttle response is amazing. Got a lot of power for low RPM. Whoa! I can't get over the, the, the power that it has, how quickly it accelerates. The torque is unbelievable. Verado is up to 13% quicker than other four strokes. Visit MercuryMarine.com to see more ways Verado beats the competition. Mercury Marine, look deeper. Feel that bad boy? It's not about the shot itself. It's about all that came before it. A company that's given back to conservation so that the tradition of hunting will continue. A leader in innovation since its founding. It's the legendary excellence you've come to expect. You've got that history in your hands. Now it's about settling the crosshairs, focusing on that moment in time, and one legendary trigger pull that changes you. Winchester, the American legend. I guess my first Yamaha was uh, 1986, and uh, after that it was Yamaha, Yamaha is to no end. When I look at uh, timber property that I'm going to buy or, or, or be harvesting, you need a good, reliable machine to get you through the swamps. Pretty rough going some places. Different people have asked me about, you know, why I buy Yamaha. I keep buying them because of the reliability and the product that they make is just uh, what we want. I'm Barry Elmhurst, owner and operator of BW Forest Products, and this is my Yamaha. Closed captioning for Angler and Hunter Television is provided by Winchester Ammunition an American legend. I'm not sure when it was that I became interested in hunting. In fact, I really don't think there was a specific event or experience, but rather a primal urge that I can't explain. You know, when I was a kid, my dad used to wake me in the wee hours of the morning to drive out to cottage country. And we would walk logging roads and crown land, just like this, hunting for small game, like rabbits, grouse, and even squirrels. It wasn't uh, about the hunt, it was more about getting outdoors and experiencing things with my dad. My dad would let me walk alongside him and carry a 22, just like this one. It made me feel pretty responsible as a teenager. And looking back, I may have never had the chance to take up hunting if my dad didn't share my interests. 
You know, I still enjoy getting out and walking for small game with my Browning 22. It reminds me of how important it is to share hunting with our youth. You know, today the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters is making it easy and fun for teenagers to get involved in hunting. The Hunter Apprenticeship Safety Course is designed to enhance the existing hunter education program by allowing individuals the opportunity to safely develop their hunting skills while under the direct and immediate supervision of a qualified mentor. Any Ontario resident who is 12 years of age or older and who has successfully completed the Ontario Hunter Education course and exam is eligible to participate. The Hunter Apprenticeship Safety Program is mandatory for qualified participants under the age of 15, but is optional for new hunters who are 15 years of age or over. The Hunter Education Program is administered by the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources in partnership with the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters who this past year put on a course where teens between 12 and 15 could come and take the required courses and obtain their hunting license all in one weekend. This group had the privilege of taking part in a mentored hunt at the Bird's Eye View Hunting Preserve just east of Toronto, where they had a chance to hunt pheasants and hone their shooting skills at the skeet shooting range. Too bad. I think you saved the meat. <laughs> it was flying away though. <laughs> This whole journey started a couple of weeks, uh, two weeks ago, last weekend, I guess, um, where we took a bunch of kids and uh, we went through an instructional program. We taught them hunter education. We taught them firearm safety. They spent uh, 20 plus hours in the classroom, and Bruce was there with us uh, the whole uh, the whole way, him and his uh, his uh, son. So we certainly appreciate uh, you taking the time last week to join us, but we certainly appreciate uh, your hospitality. So thanks again on behalf of all of us here at the uh, Youth Mentorship Hunting Program. It makes a, a huge difference on uh, the future well-being of uh, hunting in the province of Ontario, and you've certainly done a great job to help promote it. So thanks very thank much. Thank you very much. And Good thank job. you all for coming. It's, uh, it's been a pleasure, an honor, a dream of mine for something like this to happen. Well, there. You could call us back anytime. We're more, we'll be back anytime. Next that? year. If you're there, back next there year. you go. So that's uh, for you on behalf of all of us. So thanks very much. Thank you very much. Gear up with Canadian Tire.
Regardless of what you hunt for, there's certain tools you need to have to make sure you can prepare your harvest properly. A sharp knife is a must for gutting, skinning, and even deboning meat. For small game like grouse and rabbits, a compact knife like this Smith & Wesson Extreme Op Silver Liner Lock is ideal. I also suggest keeping a field sharpener on hand, like the Gerber Myth, with fine and coarse carbide surfaces for quick touch-ups to help keep your blade razor sharp. Field dressing game is the first step to preparing your meat for consumption, so don't skimp out or get caught with a dull blade. To see the full line of knives, sharpeners, and multi-tools for hunting, check out your local Canadian Tire store or visit canadiantire.ca. Coming up, more great hunting. The new Excalibur Matrix changes everything. Matrix is the first compact recurve crossbow. Matrix is faster. Try 380 feet per second and more powerful. Matrix is lighter, better balanced, easier to cock, quieter, has less recoil, is more consistent, more accurate. It can't be dry fired. It can be decocked. Matrix is superior in every way. The new Excalibur Matrix changes everything. They're up there, you know. I've been to the ship. I've seen things. I've smelled things. Look, I'm trying to forage here. They fool you with the smell. They got me, but I escaped. Yeah, from the loony bin. The scent was like a blood trail, but it's deception. Get away from me. Beware, my friend. Trust no one. Trust no one. Think GPS is just for getting you to the lake? Think again. The new iPilot wireless GPS trolling system can hold your boat in place like an electronic anchor. Record and retrace productive fishing paths, automatically keep you on any bearing you choose, and take total command of speed and steering. iPilot controls your boat with wireless GPS precision so you can focus on fishing. And it's only from Minn Kota. Getting introduced to hunting has never been easier. New opportunities are making hunting something more and more teenagers are getting involved in than ever before. Now join me as I challenge myself to try and hit a rabbit on the run with my 22 as I hook up with good friend Dave Bonner and his Beagle Riley. Yeah, you stir them up when you're walking and that's what he'll do eventually here even if he, uh, when he's chasing one and barking, he'll be stirring up other rabbits. Yeah. So they'll be, you know, you might, he might be back here chasing one and they'll be going that's across right. the road down there kind of thing. But a lot of times he'll be standing there waiting, he'll be way up in the back end barking, you can barely hear him and the rabbit will come running right up to you kind of thing that he's stirred up. And you just never know what's going to happen. It's just a lot easier than us trudging through the bush. Yeah, it's a lot of work stalking them. <laughs> it is, them. it is. It's, uh, I mean, it's a nice, it's, if you've got a good property that you can walk through, Yeah. it's okay, yeah. but you, you luck walking through this. Yeah, yeah, this is actually isn't as bad as it looks here. Once you get back in there a bit, it opens up not too bad and there is clear. I'd rather stand stuff. on a... Snowmobile trail. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, ain't that the truth. And how old's Riley? He's 13 probably. Are you serious? Yeah. He's yeah. been an awesome rabbit dog and, and he's retrieved them for us after we've shot them. Oh wow. Yeah, you'll watch him run through the bush thinking, oh no, I missed him and he'll get it seems he gets to the point where he's shot and then he'll stop barking. And he'll just be quiet and follow the trail and then he just comes running back with the rabbit in his mouth. Twice he's done that for That's us now. Beagle. Where, yeah, yeah, he's he's been phenomenal. He's, come on, we should hear some barking here anytime. He's got to get. He usually gets back in the back end. It's a, a bowl back in there, and there's a lot of cedar swamp in there, and they tend to hide out in there a little bit too. So he just works an area so thoroughly that he's moving so slow. That's why I like just letting him go and letting him run, kind of thing. Here he is. That's a good mutt. Go on that side. Go on the other side. Didn't take you long to go up through there. You're not searching too hard there. Where's them rabbits at? Too hard there. Where's those rabbits? Where's them rabbits? Huh? Where's them rabbits? Yeah. Yeah. He's on one. He's on the scent right now. You know, if he started him, he's going that way. He's going to do a circle and he should come right back up through here. He's, oh, boy. He's, he's on him now. I knew it was only a matter of time. It's... Listening to Riley let loose in tongue as he picked up on fresh tracks was a pretty exciting feeling. 
and hearing him get close had me on full alert, as you just knew a rabbit would be heading through the area. Does he get high pitched once he starts seeing him? Yeah, when he's on him, the barks are really close together. He's just bar, ar, ar, ar. But it usually doesn't last long because the rabbit runs and he loses sight and then he's got to automatically switch to following the scent from that point. Yep. So then it's just a bark here, bark there as he's going. Sounds like he's getting close to the road up there though. He's real close. Yeah, he might be coming along good. Okay, here he comes. There's the rabbit. There's the rabbit. He's right there. See here, where's the rabbit? There he is. The rabbit's in front of him somewhere. It's looking like it might do the circle back that way. He's on his track, he's just not seeing him. He's definitely on him, but he's going back, yeah, so let's, uh, yeah, let's stick with the original plan then, we'll jump, yeah, because it's going to go back up by the cabin again. Okay, I don't seem to want to come across the road today. All right, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. Seems to have been staying a bit down in the back here. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, well, yeah, there's a big, like I say, all the uh, oh, hemlocks and stuff up in. You were hoping he would bring the rabbits to us. Now we have to actually do some work and walk in the snow. Yeah, we may <laughs> have to cut them off, yeah. Well, at least we got deer runway to follow anyways. Yeah, it's a regular one too. Yeah. Oh yeah, like I say, this is covered with deer beds up in here. Like it's thick, it's hard walking through it, but it's covered in deer beds. Yeah, yeah, these are all Riley's traps. Yeah. Bark, Riley, bark. Let us know where you're at. Where's the rabbits? We're waiting for a rabbit. Working, but yeah. <laughs> oh, there's one over there. Yeah, I think he was, it looks like he was going to come right down where these deer tracks are. There we go. That's one bunny. That's not bad, eh? Yeah, 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 that's, that's what it's all about. He almost snuck by us. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Look at the feet on him. Yeah, yeah. You can see wow. why they can go in the snow the way they do, eh? Look at that. Beauty. He's coming back around. Maybe we'll get one more try. Yeah. Gulp Alive presents The Fishing End. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm snagged. One of the biggest things that happens to you when you're fishing heavy cover for bass is you get snagged on wood and timber and stuff, and you can't get in there to get it. I'm going to try to get in there with my trolling motor. But uh, this braided line is so strong, I can't get the snag off. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to getting your snags off. What you do here, you simply grab a couple handfuls of line and let go of your expensive rod and reel and send it down to the snag. And here we go, ready? There's my snag off. I couldn't get the boat in there to get that snag off. The only problem you face when you're doing that is you can damage your rod tip. So what I like to do is always keep a rod tip repair kit on hand uh, when I'm fishing. I got away with it that time. But what'll happen is you'll see you can pop the guide out of there by hitting your lure against it. But nine out of 10 times, if you don't think you're gonna get that lure back and you can't break that line because it's so strong, simply do that and uh, you're unsnagged. 
more great hunting action when we return. More than a century ago, Browning introduced the auto-loading shotgun to the world. Today's Browning Silver continues that tradition with greater reliability, softer felt recoil, better handling, and more features than ever before. The Browning Silver, the auto-loading shotgun that does it all. Browning, the best there is. Fish are gonna need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. A new age of modern scope technology has arrived. Burris Optics presents The Eliminator. The Eliminator incorporates laser range finding technology with automatic bullet drop compensation calibrated to your rifle and bullet combination. Burris Optics, leading the way in modern scope technology. Burris's new Eliminator rifle scope, changing rifle scopes forever. Just range them and eliminate them. Now's the time you've been waiting for. Lund 1775 and 1875 Pro-Vs are back. Pro-Vs are built tough with double-plated hulls, marine-grade treated plywood, and reinforced transoms. Plus, Lund's exclusive IPS2 hull provides precise boat control and a soft, dry ride. State-of-the-art live wells, accessories, and tons of storage for rods and gear, making all Pro-Vs the choice of professionals. Visit your local Lund dealer and reward yourself with the best. You've waited long enough. Go get the rabbit. Go find another one. Go find another rabbit. Go find us another rabbit. Drastic change in weather. Yes. Yeah, things will be a lot better now with this fresh snow. We can pick up their scent a lot better. There he goes. He's right there. Rabbit's right there. Go that way. He's going over. Right on him. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> That's the way it's That's supposed to best. go. <laughs> Good shot. Finally. I I ran up here, I watched the dog chase him all the way around like that to you, all and right, he came back in a perfect circle. Yeah, yeah, it came. That's exactly what happened. Right at me perfectly. It's amazing how they just circle like that. We got it. Yes, we did. Is that what you've been after? Is that what you've been after, eh? <laughs> you've been running this yeah. whole time, Riley. Yeah, that's hey. good, eh? No, no. <laughs> here, 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 here. No, Riley. He's like, it's about time. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hang him up. You go get another one. You go get us another one. That was great. Yeah, he came out perfectly. Yeah, we saw him. We saw him kind of haze through there. And then I ran up the hill and watched him go across the bottom. And uh, had Riley go by. Caught a glimpse of him through there. That worked out perfect. Yeah, that's that's what we did. Go get another Trying one. To go get another one, Riley. Go get your rabbit. Yes, a shotgun is your best bet when hunting fast-moving rabbits, but my intentions were to set up on a run well ahead of the dog and hope to get a shot at a hare as he passed by. I think I nailed him. I think I nailed him. You got him. I did nail him. Good. That was cool. He just went off the edge there. I didn't know if I got him or not. Bigfoot. Uh-huh. The winter weather never slowed Riley down, 
Regardless of the conditions, that little beagle just kept on running, giving Dave and I an opportunity to take down a couple of rabbits to take home. Well, there is the uh, rabbit hunting at its finest. Yeah. I gotta yeah, tell you, I've never. Uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate yeah. you bringing it's Riley a good out. Day. Yeah, yeah. Ray loves Pol it. Ray Pol, age of 13. Yeah. For any, uh, any kids out there that are getting into hunting, small game is still. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Still the most fun. Yeah, yeah. a lot of fun. You know, and, and I mean, you can't even knock a squirrel hunting because you know, squirrels are good eating. And uh, for a, you know, a 16 or 17 year old that doesn't have many opportunities, it's, uh, yeah. it's a challenge too, right? Yeah, yeah. chance to hunt. Awesome. It's so opportunity to hunt. Yeah, get out there and uh, take advantage of this lovely winter weather. And uh, <laughs> yeah. you got to get yourself a beagle too, obviously. Angler and Hunter Television was brought to you by Canadian Tire, a proud partner of Angler and Hunter Television, Mercury Marine, and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs. What kind of Yamaha are you? Browning, the best there is. Excalibur Crossbow, compact recurve technology, the new matrix changes everything and Yukon gear. Visit Angler and Hunter Television online at ahtv.com. You can find more information on today's show and past episodes or other great websites of the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. And remember to conserve and protect the great outdoors.